Hi there, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday on a Tuesday, every Tuesday from three to four. I'm your host, Maddie B, and I have a new guest today. New guest to Talk To Me Tuesday, but yeah. you're not new to the firm at all. You've been on our other show. Right. Attorney Sade Marks, welcome to Talk Thank To Me you. Tuesday. Thank you. Such an honor to have you. You're gonna yes. have a blast. We have fun on this show. Um, we definitely talk about a lot of stuff, so you're going to bring a lot of knowledge. So for those viewers that are watching right now, today is going to be a special day. This month, October, yes. is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, so we're doing something a little bit special today in honor of um, all of those that have passed, survived, or had a loved one that has had breast cancer. So I want to take a moment right now to recognize all of those out there that have breast cancer present in their lives one way or another. All right, thank you. So I wanna go ahead and any of you guys that are watching the show today, and if you guys are a survivor of breast cancer awareness um, or even had a family member or friend, we would like to honor you and hear some of your stories on this show. We'll read them here live. Um, if not, please let us know not to disclose it, but we would love to share your story on how strong you are um, on enduring the breast cancer. So this is more commonly found in women. Right. However, men still experience this. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. we will honor both women and men. Um, and so I'll give you guys a couple of minutes to kind of load up your stories and get on and kind of give us any comments as well. Um, in the meantime, I want you, Sade, to um, introduce yourself to um, our show panel. So for those of you guys that are watching right now and Sade Marks is new to you guys, um, introduce yourself and let them know a little bit about you, where you're from, how long you've been an attorney, you know all that good stuff. Uh, <laughs> yes. So I'm attorney Sade Marks. I have been with um, D. Miller & Associates for about five months now. Um, I am I have been an attorney for four years. Um, I specialize right now in pre-litigation when it comes to personal injury as well as mass tort. Wow. Those are two of my specialties here at D. Miller & Associates. Um, I have been in Houston for about 10 years, graduated from Thurgood Marshall School of Law, which we have um, quite a few. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Mr. Miller also, and um, I'm just so happy to be here. This is my first Talk to Me Tuesday, so well, we are very happy to have you here. She has a lot of great knowledge. So as you hear, she has experience on personal injury, which that's what our topic is today. So any of the questions that you guys may have, please load them up for her. She will answer any questions in regards to personal injury, but she's also in involved in the mass tort department that we have. Yes. So that's if anybody's been affected by a pharmaceutical drug or a medical device, yeah. Um, you also represent and kind of do a lot of the research and litigation aspect. It's Absolutely. a whole different world. Oh my God. Personal injury and mass tort is completely different. In one hand, I'm sitting up here thinking about let's help um, the clients that have been injured in the motor vehicle accidents. But on another hand, I'm thinking about let's help all of the people that have been hurt and injured by devices as well as medical um, medicines that we have been given that we have just not been told the proper information for. Yeah. So we're bringing um, help to everybody. Well, you're definitely mm -hmm. in the right industry. Personal injury yeah. is anyone that's been injured some way, shape, or form, whether it's from a motor vehicle accident, like she stated, or even a pharmaceutical drug. We also represent like sexual assault, um, yes. MGM shootings, yeah. so there's other different things that have mm -hmm. caused some type of injury, but you are in the right field. Yes. You definitely yes. are. I want to go over some comments that we're getting, so I want to thank you guys for being on right now, and I want to say hi. Um, so Rhodes Trey gave us a little heart. Aww. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. And then Chris Temple said awareness is key. It is. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and then now we have Jesus saying, Hey, Hello. a little wave. So thank you guys um, for being on the show. But just like Chris Temple said, awareness is key. Absolutely. Right now we both are in pink. Pink is the yes. color of breast cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. um, breast cancer is in the month of 
October, the Awareness Month. Now, right. every month, um, a different cancer awareness is recognized yes. nationally. Mm -hmm. um, different colors, different cancers. You should look it up. Google um, whatever cancer you support um, and which month it is and what color it is. Um, this month, in honor of breast cancer awareness, we're wearing pink. pink. Girl power. Yes. Um, so if you guys have any pictures or if you guys are wearing pink at work, um, please make sure you do the hashtags. We have DMA Pinktober and DMA Thinks Pink. We would love to see your pictures. Um, you guys, uh, we want to come together as a community yes. um, to support the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So please yeah. put those hashtags up. You probably go to our page and see we take pictures on Friday. Yeah. Every, every Friday. Friday. Yeah, every Friday on October, um, we do take a staff picture that we load up with these hashtags. You can also research the hashtags and see our group that is wearing pink. Um, we post the pictures up there. So that is awesome, awesome, awesome for you guys to also see. Um, so in, again, in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we want to honor some stories. So please load them up um, we would love to share your story how you've been a survivor how you're super super strong in yes. this journey you're not alone there's a lot of us in support um we each have yeah. a little private and yeah. personal story yeah. um that we'll share with you here in a little bit on how involved we all are as well in breast cancer yeah mm -hmm. absolutely yeah so we want to recognize all of um those individuals that um, are part of the awareness. I know in Houston, we just had Race for the Cure. Yeah. Which was October 6th. Yeah. Yeah. It was. So I actually missed it. Um, so mm -hmm. if not, I get, we have the luxury of picking Austin, San Antonio, yes. or Dallas. So we'll see if there's another one um, that we can support Supporting as well. The, yes. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, so I want to open up the lines of communications with you guys. Um, any questions that you guys may have for Attorney Sharday Marks today with us in regards to t um, personal injury. So the topic is personal injury, if you guys have any questions. We do have another live comment from Jen. Jen sent us another little heart. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Jen. Um, so this month is kind of crazy. October is yeah. not just Breast Cancer Awareness no. Month. There's a lot going on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Where are you going to start? <laughs> Where do we start? Okay. Uh, so la yesterday was the end of Hispanic Heritage Month. Okay. Um, which is another very important um, aspect for us here at DML and Associates. Yes. A lot of our employees are Hispanic or have a Hispanic heritage. So we, if you go to our page, you'll see that we honor um, a member from our team with the Hispanic Heritage Month on the Employee Spotlight. Um, those are just three of many Hispanic yes. descent that we have here at the firm, D. Miller right. & Associates. Um, so those are not the only three that we have. We yes. have plenty. Um, so in honor of that, yesterday was the last day. Um, we also have, um, we will honor a little bit more on our Spanish channel, which is Jueves de Justicia. Yeah. So that happened, which was kind of half of September and then the rest of the half of October. And of course, Halloween. Yeah. It's coming. Is that Super your favorite? Excited. <laughs> Super excited. I don't know if it's my favorite holiday. I don't know how you feel about it. My favorite has to be Christmas. Okay. But I like Halloween too. Halloween is yeah. it's fun, but it's scary. So I don't like what I see, like getting scared. People drive with masks on. I yeah. just, I can't. Yeah. That, that okay. kind of, yeah, that kind of freaks me out a yeah, little bit Yeah, me too. too. <laughs> yeah. But I am excited for like the little kids oh, coming with the yeah. costumes, passing out candy, yes. eating most of it. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she puts her hand in there. I, you need to share. But we'll talk a little bit of more um, things to kind of be cautious about the candy. Yes. Um, giving out candy, receiving candy for those of you guys that have kids. Um, yes, and then absolutely. we also have Dia de los Muertos, which is kind of like Halloween. Um, it's recognizing, recognizing the Day of the Dead in Mexico. So that is from October 31st to November 2nd. So that's like almost a couple um, of days time yeah. period. So this is a lot going on. We're going to talk a little bit more. Um, but first I want to go ahead and go with um, Jennifer is patiently waiting for you to answer one of her questions. Okay. So Jennifer's saying, um, this is in regards to, again, personal injury. She's saying, the person that rear-ended me did not have a license. 
Okay. Is this something that you can help me with? Yes. Okay. So basically, good question, Jen. Um, if a person hits you, they don't have a license, but you are able to get a license plate number, anything like that. We have a dynamic investigations team here at D. Miller and Associates. Absolutely. That in a matter of days, sometimes seconds, we are able to locate who the actual um, person is that hit you and we'll get all that squared away for you. Yeah, so yeah. if you don't have a license, it's okay. Yeah. Um, we could still help you out. Absolutely. This is obviously not a common thing. No. No, it's definitely not common. Most people will have some form of ID on them, but if you are in a situation with someone that does not have an ID, make sure that everything that you can get and gather from the accident that you do, the make and model of the car, license plate numbers, things like that. And if at all, I would definitely recommend calling the police and getting a incident report in yeah. that situation. Yeah, and a, a lot of people that don't have a uh, license are a little bit afraid of calling the, the police right. to get an incident. Do you have any recommendation or any advice on what to do in regards to um, they don't have a license, oh my gosh, should I call the cops, oh my gosh, I'm going to get a citation? Like, your your mind is going crazy. Right, right, right. And I totally can understand that. I would recommend to make sure that you have all of the information that you can with the vehicle, the other driver. And if at all, if you are just afraid, give us a call immediately yes. so we can get on top of it. So the advice is definitely trying to take um, pictures. Yeah. Try to take pictures. Try to get um, witnesses. Um, try to get a lot of, a lot of information in first so that way whenever they do call here, um, you guys already have a lot Absolutely. of valuable information. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So I want to go ahead and Chris um, sent a um, comment. Feliz Dia de, let's see, um, de la herencia hispana. So thank you so much. That was in Spanish. He's just saying basically happy Hispanic Heritage Month. Yes. So that's the translation. So thank you, Chris, for that comment. Um, but yeah, Jennifer, I know you posted on there um, this concern. We'll definitely follow up with you, but it is a common thing. Yeah. So don't feel um, that this is only you or don't feel like, oh, my gosh, they can't help me. No, absolutely. We, we get this pretty often. Yeah. And we know how to deal with it. Everything. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so it's okay. We will definitely um, help you whether you have a license or not. How about insurance? If they don't have insurance, we could still help them. If who doesn't have insurance? Either either side? Either side. Okay. So if Jennifer um, doesn't have insurance, but the car who hit her has insurance, then that is who we would use. This is who we are going after in regards to um, helping you with your claim. Um, if the person that hits you, the defendant, does not have insurance, However, you have insurance. We're still able to oh, help okay. you with the claim. So either party that has insurance, we're able to go after. Okay. So if one yeah. does not have, it's okay. It's okay. There's still an option. Absolutely. B, um, in either or. So just depending on the situation. I know we talk yeah. about this a lot, um, Attorney Chardet Marks, but every case is different. Every case is so different. And it's different dynamics to every single case. Right. And being, you know, I do this every single day, in and out, there is nothing at this point that I haven't seen. I believe it. Nothing. And I'm sure you still get surprised. I still get surprised. As time goes yeah. on, right? Yeah. I mean, that's four years of experience that mm -hmm. you have, which mm -hmm. congratulations. That's something super yes. um, exciting you. and something to be super proud of. Thank you. Um, however, yeah, you never... the. Things change, you know, yeah. as technology builds and everything. You you yeah. start seeing new things, but nothing probably surprises no, you. No, nothing. <laughs> no. I would love not. to hear some of those stories. And if you guys would like to hear um, some of those um, stories, please let me know. We'll get those stories out of Attorney yes. Chardé Marks. <laughs> so, funny. yes. Um, so now we have another question. So this is from Ashley. Ashley's saying, what if the 18-wheeler driver who hit me cannot be found are we able to go after the company that's a good question that is a very 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 good question um 
if she has the information for the company of the driver, then that gives us a lot of information by itself. It does not matter whether you can locate the driver or not, the company information gives us plenty. And like I said, I cannot help but harp on the fact that D. Miller and Associates, I mean, the tools and resources that we have to locate people, find people. It's like as easy as it, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of ways to locate people. So any information you can get, and like Madi mentioned earlier, pictures, witnesses, Anything like that that you feel like will be something beneficial, make sure that you uh, give us a call and send that to us. So, Ashley, don't worry. Technology nowadays allows us yeah. to have one little bit of information yes. and be set for success. Absolutely. Seriously, now they have picture recognition. Like It's just unbelievable the type right. of stuff that you can obtain. Right. And even, you know, right, and even, I mean, I was looking for a defendant just um, two days ago, and I gave them um, his name, and I gave them his address, and with the name and address, they pulled up 10 other addresses that he could possibly be at. Wow, that's and awesome. And it wasn't just in Texas. So with the click of a button. Wow. It pulled up everything. Right. So we definitely have all of that information and all of those resources here at D. Miller & Associates. Yeah, so if, if definitely, um, and we'll talk a little bit here in a, a little bit about what steps to take, um, but if someone hits you and flees the scene, whether it's an 18-wheeler, a commercial vehicle, or just a regular person, um, I know in that state of mind, people are really nervous. Like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? Right. But try to think quickly. We do have a post on our social media, our Facebook. It's a picture of an attorney, one of our attorneys, with the top, top 10 steps to take. Yeah. So if yeah. you can get the license plate number, pictures, anything you can get quickly and in a hurry, hurry. we yes. can help going forward. Yeah. This is what we do every day, every day, all day. And you don't have to have all 10 of those things. The best thing I would say is get the most you can yeah. and then let us take care of it. Most importantly, contact us as soon as possible. Absolutely. So we can get started on the process and the investigation. Absolutely. So that phone number will be located below. It is 713-850-8600, also uh, as well as our, our address. So you guys, if you have any questions, just like Jennifer and Ashley so far, um, you can load them direct message here on this portal. You can also send us a private direct message. Yes. You can give us a call. You can email us. Wow, sky's the limit on what you can do to get a hold of us. Absolutely. Um, so please feel free, as soon as you've been in an accident and as soon as you have taken care of yourself, yes. first and foremost, yes. please give us a call. And we are open 24-7. We are. We, You and I work 24-7. <laughs> Yes, but you yes. know what? It doesn't feel like work. And I don't no. know if you no. agree with me, Attorney yeah. Charday, but yeah. it just it's something we have a passion for. You took the words right out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, we here, you know, at the firm, speaking for you and I, as well as so many others here, we actually love what we do. Absolutely. Like, we can talk about it all day because we are so passionate about um, our clients. We are so passionate about giving back. We are so passionate Absolutely. about um, the different relays for life that we have, the breast cancer awareness. This is a firm that is all about the people. Yes. Always. Well said. It is all about the people. It is about it is. you guys. It that is. is another reason why we have the show. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to be here. Absolutely. So I want to thank you guys. Go take, I thank invite you, so you guys. Much. Yes, thank you so much. I want to invite you guys to go on our Facebook page. Take a look at it. Yes. Um, not only do we give back, we have fun. We put smiles on people's faces. Yes. That's what it's all about is making an individual whole again. Yes, yes absolutely. By, by getting that, that shining um, smile back on their face. Right. Um, we're here to give and we do 
a lot to try to give back to the community yeah. as well as those that just don't know how to even approach the situation. Right. That's, the attorneys are here to help right. and they do that. Right. Yeah. And me and Madi cannot express to you how many different divisions that we have here from personal injury to the sexual assaults to the medical device, we the slip and falls, the dog bites, the elevators. We cover so much. Right. I really, really recommend to also go to our website. Check out our website. Go through and see everything that we do here because it may be something that we in this short amount of time have not mentioned. And you Absolutely. say, you know what? I just slip it, I just had a slip and fall at Walmart. You know what? I just took this medicine that you know, they didn't tell me all of the warning Absolutely. labels. Absolutely. Please go check us out. Yes, and that website will also be located here below so that you guys can just click and go. Um, there is a lot of information, but it's all information for you guys and information that can help, um, whether it's just reading a little bit, whether it's videos, mm -hmm. whether it's pictures. We try to help out any which way of communication that we can. Anyway. Um, so I want to go ahead and address another live comment that we have, which this is Sherry. She said, so much great information, and you ladies are truly entertaining to watch. Hashtag Talk to Me Tuesday, hashtag DMA. So thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, and thank you for watching. All of you guys that are watching right now, um, we want to thank all of you guys for being, yes. um, for watching the show, for sharing the show, for engaging in the show. Absolutely. Um, we love that. That's yeah. what makes us keep on going every Tuesday yes. on a Tuesday. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so we were talking a little bit earlier about what this month is and why um, we are pretty in pink today, right? Mm -hmm. um, so in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we are um, honoring all those stories, all those individuals that have either suffered by a family member, by themselves, um, or even those that have passed, if you have a, a loved one that has passed from the breast cancer. It's such an important month. Um, we're not the only ones that are celebrating this. Yeah, It is celebrated nationwide, not just this type of cancer. Every month it's a different cancer. Every month is a different color. Right. Um, but breast cancer is one that is celebrated at the NFL level, at yes. the NBA level. Yes. Um, even soccer. Soccer. Mm -hmm. Even though it's the month of October, whatever um, day a, a professional sport picks, they kind of all go full out full and out. pink. Yes. Cleats. Gloves, yes. pom-poms, yes. I don't know yes. if you've seen it. Yes, it is everywhere. And you know what's even amazing is that even our minor leagues, our little kids um, in their schools, yeah. I've seen, I've went to games where I'm seeing little kids also supporting it. So to know that it can bring awareness and we are bringing awareness to even the small children means a lot. Yeah, that's beautiful because um, just like you said, making it aware, starting them young and yeah. kind of being a little bit assertive yeah. of the things to do and what's going on in the world. Just a little bit of stats to kind of let you guys know. So one in eight women in the U.S. will be diagnosed with breast cancer. So that wow. ratio is high. It's high yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, it's most commonly diagnosed in cancer in women. Mm -hmm. However men do suffer as well absolutely so it's not just a women thing only it's where it's commonly more so diagnosed um, it's the second leading cause of cancer death in women as well um, so it's just, just stuff and stats for you guys to know each year over 252,000 that's estimated women are diagnosed a year and over 2,500 men a year Wow so those numbers are very high, mm -hmm. whether it's women and men, it's not to be in comparison, um, different things, but there's a lot of things that you can lower the risk of getting um, breast cancer. Not yeah. just breast cancer, but other, other cancers. cancers. Right. So if you guys just Google um, how to lower the risk of breast cancer, if it's in your family, you probably should um, get checked a little bit more often. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. Things that can lower the risk is limit your alcohol level, don't smoke. Okay. controlling your weight and staying active. I think the right. last two are a yeah. common one for other cancers. Other cancers, mm -hmm. right. As well as other um, illnesses and diseases. Absolutely. Being healthy, being active, making sure that we control what goes in our bodies. Right. Definitely um, is something that helps with a lot of different 
illnesses and diseases. And I definitely know a lot of cancer patients who have actually, when they were diagnosed, changed their diet, started juicing more, started doing a lot of natural right. remedies, which are things that we need to incorporate in our life, whether we have cancer or we don't. Right. Healthy lifestyle right. is always the way to go. And a lot of um, you guys that are watching, either if you've experienced a loved one or if you um, gone through this journey, it is life changing. Life -changing. Um, from the minute you find out, um, you have to change a lot of, of the habits mm -hmm. um, and getting you back again. I, I repeat this, but back whole, getting that cancer out by either doing chemo. Um, there is a lot of process. Um, so I actually, in my family, I do have um, quite a few. I have an aunt, uh, my dad's sister, that passed away um, from breast cancer. And then I do have a few um, family friends that are going through cancer as well. It's such a hard time. It is. It's, And I don't know if you have also any loved ones or family members right. that have had cancer. But it, it is a journey. And it's a journey of um, a very strong individual um, to get diagnosed to go through the chemo, to prepare yourself mentally, to lose your hair, um, and then at the end, it's such a celebration to be cancer-free. Oh, absolutely, because everything that you're saying, you know, is so true. They go through hard times. Sometimes they don't feel like they can make it, but they're, they're survivors. Right. And there is no other way to say it but... They're yes. survivors. So that yeah. just starting the journey and makes you either a strong woman or a strong man because breast cancer is something that both can be affected. But that journey um, is no joke. No. Going through chemo and radiation no. takes a toll on your body. You're, you're pretty it much, it, it just takes all the life of you. And those of you guys that either have had a family member, friend, or been yes. through it, know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, in honor of that, I want to hear some of your stories. If you guys have any, um, we would love to hear and just kind of support and all kind of come together in um, strength and power yes. for you guys, for sure. Yes. Um, so in honor of breast cancer, we are um, taking a moment to recognize those that have passed, those that are going um, through it, and those that are, have survived it. It's something um, super powerful that we all um, oh can goodness. join together and, and be one, one voice. Um, so here at D. Miller & Associates, we do every Friday in the month of October, we dress in pink. Um, so I know you guys have been seeing some of those hashtags that we put up. That's hashtag Pinktober and hashtag DMA Thinks Pink. So DMA Pinktober, I said that one wrong, and DMA Thinks Pink. Um, so those are our two hashtags that we have. Um, so please, whenever you load up your picture, I know you're seeing some on the screen right now, please put those hashtags. We love to be a part of whatever movement you guys are um, doing out there as well. Right. And we love to see you guys all come together um, in celebration of such an important month. Right, right. And I'm excited because this Friday, like no other Friday, I get a chance to be a part of the picture because I missed it last Friday. Yes. Yes. So, I'm definitely, <laughs> my team will hold you accountable for that they one. They definitely yeah. will hold you accountable. So I will be in the picture this Friday. Please go to Facebook, check it out. You will see me. Um, yes, yeah, since you're yeah. going to see Attorney Sharday Marks, yeah. I ask all of you guys that are watching right now to make sure you go tune in on Friday on yeah. our Facebook page and like that picture. Make Absolutely. sure you put a little comment for Attorney Sade Marks That's as right. well. That's so right. that way she can wear pink. I know um, because I had a family member that uh, I've lost, an aunt, I wear and honor breast cancer the full month. So every day, I don't know if you've noticed, yeah. around the office, I wear pink every, every day. single day. Yeah. And if not, I do have a bracelet in memory of my aunt. So I... I definitely have pink on the whole month. I invite you guys as well to do the whole month if right. you're able to. Pink is my favorite color, right. so I have enough clothes for 30, uh, right. 31 days. And I want to see their pictures. Yes. I want to see them be in pink. Absolutely. Yeah, so Families, post your kids. pictures too. Yes. Yeah, post them, hashtag it so we can find it. Yes. We would love to share your picture um, in honor of that as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next live question. So this is from Gerald. Gerald is saying, I was involved in a hit and run. I think this is another one we're talking about here. I waited for the police to get there to give them a report. What should I do now? So he was involved in a hit and run. So, And the police, did they? I waited for the police to get there to give them a report. So 
My assumption is they did get a police they report. They did. Okay. So with that police report, what we'll do here, we will um, ask that um, we'll ask for that police report to be given to us. We'll locate that. From there, that's when we'll take over. We'll gather all information from you. The police report will have everything where it happened and all of that. Once we get through investigating the case, um, then the case will go on to start. We want to make sure that you get um, seen, medical treatment, all of that other stuff that you need. If you are, I will want, I do want to say this, if you are involved in an accident, please go seek medical treatment first. It is very right. important that you are taken care of before you even think about the case or anything. Please go seek medical treatment Right, first. right. Your health is important. Your body is important to us. So getting you um, healthy again and just making sure that you um, feel better is yes. one of our yes. biggest missions because you have been hurt. Um, so that's why we're here. So Attorney Chardé Marks, I want you to speak a little bit about how unique our firm is. Um, and what I mean by that, we are broken up into phases. Um, so if you want to talk a little bit about what each phase kind of does um, for these, for Gerald saying, okay, investigation, then what's next? Right. You know, a lot of people don't know the, the legal process and yeah. are a little impatient like, hey, what's going on? Right. I know you experienced right. it, so do you want to talk just briefly a little yeah. bit about how it's unique? So our firm is so unique. It is definitely broken into four sections. Um, the first section of our firm is going to be our intake section. This is the section where you're going to give them every piece of information that you have. This is where you are going to give them your pictures. This is where you're going to provide them with who the witnesses are. This is where all of the foundation for your case is laid out. Then we'll go on to phase two. Phase two is our investigation phase. Their job is to make sure to see what the limits are. What is the policy? Who has insurance? Do you have insurance? Does the driver have insurance? Does the company carry insurance? Okay, that is our investigation phase. Phase three is our medical development phase. This is the phase that makes sure that you as a person and the whole body is whole. Like Madi said, we <laughs> yeah. want to make sure that when you're going through your treatment, that the end result is that you feel as close to 100% as you possibly can. Um, then we have a phase, it's, we don't really call it a phase, it's, it's on itself, it's by itself, it's called records. Their job is to gather all medical documents, every place that you've been, all of your treatment, um, Last but definitely not least, it goes to me. Okay? <laughs> hey, it goes there to me. Go. Okay? This is phase four. And phase four, phase four concentrates on sending out demands, um, asking the insurance company to pay for your lost wages, your pain and suffering, th your medical bills, that thing. Once the demand has been sent to the insurance company, I will be negotiating your case. I negotiate all cases here at D. Miller & Associates, and so that's pretty much how the process works here. So let me ask you this. You said that it comes to you kind of towards the end. You yes. negotiate the cases. Yeah. So you get very much so involved in a client's story from beginning to end. Absolutely. What happened, the injuries, what are they not able to do so that way you are the voice yeah. for our clients. Absolutely. And I always tell, you know, the clients when it gets to my phase and I'm negotiating, I want to hear um, things like, what could you have done before the accident that you can't do now? Did you used to go to the gym three times a week and now you only go once a week? Um, did you work for three months but because of the accident you didn't work? Those are things that are very, very important to me. I want to make sure that you guys are covered, that the medical is covered, that your lost wages are covered, and just being the voice for you. This is awesome information, and this yeah. is exactly why we have this show. Yeah. We have this show to educate you guys that are the viewers that are watching right now. A lot of people don't know that. Yeah. A lot of people will hear the attorney asking questions or even our, our um, paralegals yeah. and 
they don't really think back to, oh, wow, I can't pick up a ball for my Absolutely. child anymore. Absolutely. Things like that. You need to kind of dig deep because before the accident, you were at 100% or close to it. Um, but after, you're not able to do certain things. Certain things that you didn't even think you can't do. Right. And I know when I've been injured through, uh, you know, going t to the gym, but once I pull a muscle, I'm like, wow, I didn't know I had that muscle there. Now I can't no, even absolutely. sit down. Right. It's crazy. It is. Yeah. And sometimes we have injuries already. This is something that we, we experience a lot here with our clients. They will ask me, Attorney Marks, if I've been injured before and I already have issues with my back and then I get in this accident four months later, can I not recover from my back because I injured it four months prior. Well, that's a good point. Let's talk about that because yeah. even though they might have had an injury prior to, right. an impact can make it Absolutely. worse, right? Absolutely. And how it works is any injury that we have to our physical body that we did not have prior to the accident is considered compensable. And what compensable means is that we need to get paid on it. We need to recoup some damages because it still is a compensable injury. So if your back was hurting four months before, one to 10, it was a four, but then you get in an accident and it's an eight, our job here is to get you back to how you were prior to the accident. Right, right, which that builds the value of Absolutely. the case. Um, Absolutely. So this is a lot of great information for you guys. Um, if and when you guys are in an accident, um, we have a lot of experience here, as you can hear, Attorney Chardonnay, Chardonnay Marks. Um, we also have other attorneys. We have four others. You yes. are the only female. I am the Girl other. power. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh -huh. um, but we do have a total of five attorneys here yes. at D. Miller & Associates, which all of you guys work together. Yes. It's not just you. You guys come together. No. You bounce off ideas on what can happen, litigate, etc. It's it's so Absolutely. beautiful to see how you guys all work together Absolutely. as one unit. Yeah. So. And, I, and, I, and I tell people, when you come to D. Miller & Associates, you don't just get one. You get a whole team. Yeah, a team, you get a, a family. Team yeah. And family. <laughs> yeah. Because it is five attorneys here at D. Miller and Associates, but there is also I mean, my, so how many, much staff do so we many, have? Yeah, staff. We have oh about like 40, 40, 45 yeah. around there. I, I've lost count as far as how Absolutely. many. Absolutely. But yes, we do have staff here that is able to steer you guys in the right direction right. before having the attorneys um, talk to you guys. The attorneys also talk to you guys on the weekend. Absolutely. You can also attest to this. Um, but yes, our staff is just to make sure you're comfortable talking to you all the time. Yes. Um, just communication. We want to open up those lines of communication. We're here for you guys on that. Um, so I want to address another live comment. This one's from Vero. Vero sent us a heart. Aww, uh, thank thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vero. Um, so we have a lot of great questions that have really brought some um, good information. I, yeah. I'm really very yeah. happy with what you're giving our viewers today. Um, I'm going to go yes. with one more question that I have here that's waiting. So this is Lauren. Okay. Lauren saying, if I was in an accident five months ago, is it too late to hire an attorney? Whew. Oh, my God. Good question. Good question. Yes. I have a good answer. <laughs> no, give us a call. Um, no, it's definitely not too late to hire your attorney five months um, after. Here in Texas, we do have um, satellite offices and, and just everywhere. So the statute of limitations is definitely different in every state. But here in Texas, our statute of limitations is two years. So what that means is two years after the accident, you're still able to file a claim yeah. up to two years. So if you got in an accident, you thought that you were gonna feel better, you thought that everything was gonna work out, but you realize that, you know what? I don't feel good. I still am hurting. I want that voice. But we is, are the voice. Isn't it correct, Attorney Chardin Marks, that we don't want them to wait for the two years? Oh, no. We, no, as, no, no. The sooner the better. I know this. Um, yes. Lauren is saying five months. It's still okay. 
However, the quicker the better we can help you. Please yes. don't wait for the year and the ninth month and the certain certain no. days because then no. you guys run into a really tough and difficult um, situation that you absolutely. have to say, I can't help. Yes. And yes. we don't want to say that we can't. Yes, Madi is absolutely correct. So although we have two years from the date of loss to um, file a claim, it is our, it helps us, it helps you when we are able to do it immediately, when we are able to get on it immediately. It just helps, it makes everything smooth because what we don't want, this is a big thing, we don't want the insurance company to say, well, if they were really hurt, they would have already went to treatment. They right. would have already, so we definitely run into issues the further the case is removed from the actual incident. Right, and all our clients, I repeat, all our clients are strong. Mm -hmm. And because of that, that could be a little bit of a downfall because we're so strong, we're saying, ah, it's yeah. okay, I can deal yeah. with this pain. Yeah. When you're in an accident, it's better to over-communicate. Get yourself um, healthy again because that is where it hurts you on yes. the type of case that you have yes. although all our clients are strong yeah. this is the time where it's okay to to state any type of feeling that you have absolutely. on your body and injuries absolutely and we want to make sure that we address it right then and there while absolutely. it's fresh yes yeah so that was a good question so thank good you Lauren, question. for that Thanks, question Lauren. Um, so now I want to talk about something a little bit on the fun side. Okay. So every month here at D. Miller & Associates and Talk To Me Tuesday, we do something called heroic behavior. Yes. So it's something that we do since we are your legal heroes. We do every month something, um, a heroic behavior to give to you guys so that way you don't have to cook or you don't have to worry about um, taking the kids here or you don't have to worry about buying supplies. Whatever we every month think of, how can we be a hero to right. you guys? So we're going to talk a little bit about that. So last okay. month, we were giving out Phobia Haunted House. Now, that's not really being a hero, but this was actually our best one because yes. everybody loves Halloween season. Yes. Yes. Um, and with that being said, a lot of you guys, surprisingly, love haunted houses. Um, so you guys will see right now the hero behavior, the ad that was out there, um, that you guys can see that you have to go like this picture. Now, yes, that is me in the scary outfit. I love to come with it with my outfit and my coworker um, just sells on there. So we do have internal people taking these pictures. However, we were giving out two tickets to Phobia Haunted House. We have two winners, two, one from Talk To Me Tuesday and one from Cuevas de Justicia. The best, honestly, interaction ever. Everyone wow. in Houston, Texas loves Phobia Haunted House. Wow. It's rated the number one haunted house. Trust me, when I went to go buy the tickets, uh, yeah, no, I would not. <laughs> you were like, no. I Thank God I just bought the tickets for you guys because I would never, I would never buy tickets, go through a haunted, haunted house, house. Yeah. get scared. Absolutely not. I don't no. know how you feel about haunted houses, but I'm not the one for people to be creeping up on the back <laughs> and touching my shoulder. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, so that was a hero behavior we did last month. Okay. Um, so we'll be loading some pictures up here um, this week, if not next week, of the winners that won the Phobia Haunted House tickets. Now this month, you guys might have already seen the picture. Um, we'll load it here in a second. It's basically giving out in honor and in, um, we're kind of going a little bit ahead for Thanksgiving. Okay. So we're giving it out to two winners. So two of you guys can win off this show and then two from our next show. So wow. what we'll be giving out is a turkey for you guys to cook and three fixings. So everything you come and pick it up, kind of like a grocery, put it in your freezer, everything will be ready to go for the Thanksgiving holidays. Yes. Um, now all you have to do is that picture that you see on the screen, you have to like that picture. You have to go like our Facebook page. You have to tag someone that you're going to spend Thanksgiving with and share it on your Facebook page. Wow. So easy and simple. it's free. Simple. It's free and yeah. simple, yeah. yes. So that is what this month is, our hero of behavior. We want to give a turkey and three fixings to two families um, of each show. So make sure you share, share, share. Yes. Um, try to win a turkey. I mean, there's never, there could never be enough turkey, no, right? No, no. And if you don't eat it on the day of Thanksgiving, oh you goodness. eat it the day after. Or 
the, the day, day after. after. <laughs> exactly. You will be turkeyed out for almost a week in the month of November, November. till the end Absolutely. of November. So you can never have enough turkey. And not only that, right. turkey's healthy for you. Yeah. Yeah, that's And I know some protein. families who actually have turkeys for Christmas as well. Oh, yeah. So if you're a winner and you already have a turkey for Thanksgiving. That's a good point. Still freeze it. Yeah. You'll have one for Christmas yeah, as well. Yeah, Christmas or New Year's Eve, yes. too. Th those, all these holidays are around yeah. the corner. Um, Definitely. Yep, it's starting, guys, the holiday season. So make yes. sure you go find that picture. Go like the picture. Go like our pat page. Tag someone you're going to be with on Thanksgiving weekend and share it on your Facebook. That yes. will get you a chance to win um, the Heroic Behavior of the Month. So we love, again, like you stated earlier, to yes. give back. Um, and that is one way that we're also giving back to you guys um, on the social media platform. So I want to thank all of you guys that have participated in the past, have shared all our hero behaviors. Yes. It's not going to end. We have more to no. come till the end of the year. Yes. So please stay tuned. Um, so now today, just to kind of recap a little bit, we honor today's show in regards to Breast Cancer, Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. That is why we are uh, pretty in pink today. Um, so you will have the show. We will put on the, the show in the comments the hashtags. The hashtags are DMA Pinktober, DMA Thinks Pink. Um, so if you guys have any pictures, if you wear any pink, please yes. take a selfie. Yes. Go on Snapchat, put that pretty filter. Um, they have little hearts, pink hearts, okay. whatever. Just put the hashtag so we can see and we can also be a part of it together as one huge family. So I want to thank all of you guys for coming on the show. I want to ask Attorney Chardé Marks, if you had to leave our viewers with some type of closing comments, some type of um, closing either quotes or just suggestions, what would you leave our viewers with today? Um, my suggestion would be that if you have any case, anything that you have questions of, any concerns, Please, please, please give us a call. We are here for you. Telephone number 713-850-8600. We are here 24 seven to answer any of your questions and concerns. Also, for those out there that have had breast cancer, survived, know someone who has survived, um, or even those that have passed, thanks so much for being survivors. You inspire us daily to continue the fight with you. We really appreciate it and we love you. Yes, exactly. Very well said. Together we fight and we fight for a cure for cancer. I say cancer in such a general way because this month we are honoring breast cancer, but there's so many types of cancers out there Absolutely. that are honored every month. Every color in the rainbow pretty much has yeah. a cancer represented. Absolutely. Um, so we fight together to find a cure. So yes. I want to thank all of your survivors that, out there as well. I want to thank all of you guys that took the time out to watch the show. I want to thank you guys thank you for so all much. of you guys that shared the show and that are going to continue to share the show. Without you guys, we would not be able to have this platform and speak to you. Absolutely. So we are here for you guys, um, Attorney Shardy Marks and myself, your host, Madi B. Until next time. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.